Yeah, and if I just jump in for a second, Rebecca, we're talking to Rebecca Vallis, Director of Policy for the Poverty to Prosperity Program at the Center for American Progress. How is that? Um, uh, <laughs> the, 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 uh, the problem, of course, there is that they're talking about reducing the deficit as if Social Security, for one, contributed to the deficit, which, as you know, and I know, it is forbidden to do by law. That's exactly right. And that's that's one of those talking points that is very fact free. Oh, Social Security is driving the deficit. It's driving the debt. Um, By law, it cannot add a penny to the deficit or to the debt, something that they would rather us not know. Um, But, you know, more moreover, um, by focusing only on a a sort of an exaggerated and hyperbolic, um, oh, my God, the sky is falling view of Social Security's modest, long expected projected 75 year shortfall. What they're ignoring is that we know exactly what we can do and we know what would be fair. And that's to have wealthy Americans pay their fair share uh, by lifting or eliminating outright the payroll tax cap that has slipped over the years. I actually mentioned at one point during the hearing um, that it was President Reagan himself who set that payroll tax cap at 90 percent of covered wages in this country. It slipped because the rich have gotten richer. And we've got more and more millionaires and billionaires having their wages escape that payroll tax cap, and they stop paying into Social Security just a couple days into the year while the rest of us pay all year long. That's an easy and fair and simple fix that the American people widely agree across political parties, across income levels, across generations is the right thing to do. And yet we have this huge disconnect between what the American people say they want and what makes sense and what we hear folks in Congress talking about. And Rebecca Vallis, when we say that, and when you say that the American people across the political spectrum strongly agree, I think we're talking, I'm I'm trying to retrieve the numbers from my internal hard drive, I think we're talking about something on the order of 74% of Republicans support the idea. This is not just an 80-something percent of Democrats and equivalent number of independents. I mean, this is overwhelmingly Americans want to see this payroll tax cap adjusted or lifted so that multi-million Millionaires and billionaires are paying in at roughly the same rate as uh, most Americans. That's exactly right. And and yet, for, for some reason, we have one political party in Congress not even listening to their own base on this. And really, instead, I think, listening to the donor class, which is that you know, top share of really ultra wealthy people in this country who who are the ones who maybe don't agree with the rest of Americans. And maybe, just maybe, now we're going to I'm going to speculate a little bit here, Rebecca Vallis, but maybe just maybe they don't agree (laughs) because they're the only ones who would be affected by it by having to pay for once their fair share into the Social Security system. And maybe just maybe they don't want to do that. 